Hello there, YouTube. 106 Amps back here with another video. My first four pill build. I talked about in some of my videos I was going to build a four pill, and I finally got around to doing it. So I'm going to show it to you, go over it, and go through it a little bit. Now I got a list over here. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I did to it, some of the things that are different from the two pills, and then we'll test it at the end. Test the radio, test the output power. It turned out pretty good, not too bad at all. I'll take a moment and go over it. Let you see a little bit of it up close. go through a little bit of what I did. First off, the cabinet is the CBS5 mobile from ICA. You can look it up on their website, CBS5 mobile from ICA. Of course, you know you can make it two, drive them four if you wanted to. All right, 220 picofarad mica cap on the input combiner. That's on the input combiner right there. That's what I used there, 220 picofarad mica. Then, of course, 330 picofarad mica, mica on the input transformers. Then, right there, the 4700 UF 25 volt electrolytic caps from the power pad to ground. We didn't use those on the two pill. I just want to show you that I used those there. All right. 2 watt 100 ohm resistors on input and output combiner. That's those right there. 2 watt 100 ohm. And of course, yes, my first time doing input splitter combiner and output combiner. My first time doing those. There's a couple different ways you can do those. I did them that way. Now, on the output tuning capacitor. 151J 6KV for the output tuning capacitor. Right there. And then of course a 10 amp double pole, double throw relay. Five amps used on the little two pills. Now, that's pretty much the only other components in here that are different from the two pill, you know, a different power pad and things like that. And it was a 16 gauge wire on the wrap on there and the input combiner, 14 gauge here, wrap on those output transformers. And I use 12 gauge there. Some people may use 14, but I use 12 gauge on the power chokes. I don't know much else that's different from a two pill. But all right, my first time doing a remote. On the two pills, I didn't do a remote. For info on how to do that, of course, look up Gatekeeper. And once again, I've got to give props to Gatekeeper and BBI and Mud Duck, Mud Duck, Sharky, Sharky, for all their videos when I learned some of this stuff. But yeah, we did a remote for this first time here. And another thing I did this time saw one of the builders do it. Instead of running the wires for the switches right along the board there, I got a grommet right there. And they run underneath the board and come out right down there. Just something I wanted to do to make everything look a little bit cleaner and nicer. And this time, where the wires come out of the transformers and go down the board, I tried to keep them shorter. I tried to keep everything shorter right there, everything shorter and tighter, nicer. Try to do as many places, do as least places down to the board as I could. But yeah, try to keep everything tighter and nicer. So I think that's everything pretty much. You can see the little combiners that I got here from ICA. You could use those. I just wrap my own. And the fan, 
I put a longer wire on them this time. Sometimes the wire comes with it short as crap. Fair right in there. All right. I think that's pretty much on everything that I did on it compared to a two pill. Some of the little things I did different this time, but all right, let's get at it. The Conix 3400. She's dead key in, let's see what, three or four watts? Do, yeah, almost three watts. It's doing dead key in about three watts. And it's putting out about 30 watts. See, I just put the 300 watt scale. Oh, yeah. She's putting out about 30 watts. And the reflect is good on it. Input, hardly moves. Audio, audio. It's probably a quarter of watt or something. But all right, anyway. The amp is off right now. Five watt slug. Audio, audio, audio. Bypass tuning should be good. Let's turn it that way to see what the heck happens. They're probably gonna read the radio. Audio. Yeah, that's the radio going through. But the tune on it seems to be good. It's doing good. Don't nothing seem to be real high, no high reflect or anything at all. I got a 500 watt slow again. I don't have a thousand watt. I have a 2,500 watt and a 5,000 watt slug. But anyway, all right, we'll turn the amp on. This is just with the 30 watts to drive. 500 watt slug. That is middle scale. Oh, yeah. right on past 500. What's that day key in out of the amp? Let's see, 100. 50, 20, 10, 20, 30. Yeah, she's dead keying something out of the amp. 50, 60, something like that. But yeah, with 30 watts of drive. Audio. 500, a little more than 500. That's doing pretty good for just 30 watts of drive. You can step it on up, 40, 50, 60. You can hit it with a one pill or possibly even use, you know, two 2290s. I'm sure she'd get on up and go good. That is exactly the same as my Carl built 400, which I'm gonna flip around and show you this just cause I want to, as my Carl built four pill right there that I have over here in my rack. That sometimes drives my 16 pill. Most of the time, just the two pill. But anyway, yep, she's doing right about the same power as Carl Bell's four pill, so not too bad. Seems to be doing good. Got a few more things I need to learn and whatnot, but she came out pretty clean. Looks pretty nice. Go back through it one more time. Not too bad. I don't know what we're gonna try from here. We got some new things on the bench though. Look down there. Oh yeah, service monitor. <laughs> There's the Sweet 16 in one video I'm going to put up. But all right, YouTube, I do appreciate it. We're learning, constantly learning. Four pill ain't turned out too bad. All right, YouTube, have a good evening. I appreciate everything.